In this Monday Masterclass, we're going to transform a generic and boring landing page template into a spectacular iconic design that people are sure to remember. Behind this lecture is world-renowned designer, lecturer, and typographer Oded Ezer, who was recently a guest in our podcast. Oded, take it from here. Thanks, Simon. I'm sure that this is true for most of us. When we hear the words, I love New York, and the first image that comes to mind is this. This is iconic design. What makes something iconic is how well the visual representation connects to that idea so that it is intrinsic. The image and the idea are unmistakably connected. This should be our goal when we sit down to design a web page, to creating a design that our audience will always remember and link to the ideas and content of the page. In this week's Monday Masterclass, we'll be taking this generic landing page for a ballet school and transform it into something worth bookmarking, sharing and talking about. Let's start by taking a good look at the area above the fold at the very top of this page. Try to give it a good squint and let it sink in. Now we'll close our eyes. With our eyes closed, which elements do you remember most? Is it the dancer? Is it the big yellow circle? Now the next question we need to ask is, does this circle help us convey the idea of our landing page? When we think of a dance school, a circle is hardly among the first things that come to mind. So it's safe to say that this circle isn't really doing anything for this dance school. And if it's not promoting the main idea, it doesn't belong. Let's analyze the elements we have here besides the circle. We have the lead dancer, a headline, a logo, some text, a menu, a background, as well as a few smaller circular elements floating around. We need to identify our main visual narrative and use it as a foundation to work on. The most memorable element in this top section, as you'll probably agree, is the dancer's magnificent movement and the way that her dress flows with her movement. Another strong aspect is the headline. A series of uniform letters made up of an unremarkable sans serif, perhaps stationary or rigid. If we think about it, the contrast of these two concepts, flowing motion and solid rigidness, actually works very well with the idea we are looking to convey. The ballet school, the strict training and rigid practice required of ballet students, and the contrasting freedom and flowing movement in their dance. You can also appreciate a similar contrast occurring between the uniform and rigid tempo of the music and the irregular free-flowing movements of the dancers. So now we have our design concept, flow versus consistency. Let's move on to my favorite part, removing the visual noise. Visual noise is made up of all the elements that don't really have conceptual or formal justification. So getting rid of these elements will clear up our composition, making a stronger impression on our users. In this design, we have a purple background that doesn't really say flow or consistency. Actually, even if we change the background to a different color, it still wouldn't relate. So we can remove it completely and give the dancer the freedom she needs. The next thing we see here is the yellow circle. Do we really need it? Well, in the beginning, it was a technical solution. We needed a background to contrast our dancer against the purple background. Now, since we took the purple out, there is no need for the yellow circle. So after removing all the elements that acted as visual noise, we start our drill down and refine our concept. Let's talk about the letters in the headline. We can see here letters that are tall and wide, short and wide, tall and narrow. The consistency here is only partial. So we can confidently change the letter case to capital letters and make the space between them wider and even in order to get the consistent look we are after. We can also work on the menu. Menus are usually taken for granted, disregarded like an old sock. We don't give it proper attention since we just need it for navigation, like it's not part of the story, but of course it is. Our menu looks okay, it's kinda connected to our consistent concept. 
But if we examine it a bit closer, we see that again we have regular letters as well as pipes that makes for uneven space between each word. We can change all the letters case to capital, delete the pipes, and give the words equal space between each word. We can even take it one step further and change the search icon to a square one. If we keep doing that throughout the whole first section, what began like this now looks like this. Moving on to our next section. Now that we have such a strong and clear concept, flow versus consistency, we can implement the same principles on the other sections. We have two images that are not consistent nor flowing. So this time, we can switch the rows and change the headline font to a more flowing one while making the images more consistent. And the result? This helps us to show the difference between the two sections while using the same visual principle. We see that everything works well together and the concept is still clear and strong. Moving on to the third section. So because the first and second section worked so well together, let's do it again. Repetition helps us base our iconic design. In the third section, we have our lead dancer. We can see that again, she was placed in a circle that does not contribute to our concept. So we should break the constraints of our circle and give the dancer the freedom to dance. And look at the difference it makes. Our fourth section is the call to action section. Here again, we can switch roles and make the text flowing and images consistent. We can add a sign up button to make it more actionable. Let's have a quick look at the new design from top to bottom. You can see the tremendous difference that has been made. We even added motion effects in order to make our concept even stronger and help our elements move and dance. Just imagine the impression a user arriving from an ad campaign gets when they see this. The dancers coming to life on the page. To recap, we first analyzed the most remembered elements in the page, asked ourselves if they fit the purpose of the page, then found our page's main concept of flow versus consistency, cleaned off all the visual noise, heightened the contrast between the flowing image and the consistent text, switched it around for the second section, making the text flowing and images consistent and finally rinsed and repeated for the third and fourth paragraph. So next time that you are creating a landing page, try to run through the same process we did today and make sure you create something worth remembering. Speaking of remembering, if you enjoyed this masterclass and we hope that you found it inspiring and helpful, be sure to click the subscribe button and tap that bell so you don't miss another masterclass full of tips and tricks for designers and developers working in a WordPress environment. And of course, we always appreciate any comments or criticism that you may have and obviously any helpful tips that you could help other users with. Please, by all means, leave your comments below. Thanks for watching. Cheers.